So we have got our first squad foundations of the Era Divisi, and as you can see here, for completing everything, you get yourself Windell, the left back from Ajax. Looks like a really good card, nice objective card. If you've seen my storyline videos on who to take from them, you'll be laughing because I told you to take Era Divisi because of this reason. Looks like a good card, so let's see what we have to do. Assist seven through balls using players from Era Divisi in squad battles on semi-pro difficulty or in rivals, and you can do that in one game by the looks of it. Score 10 goals of Era Divisi minimum four-star weak foot in squad battles again. Or in rivals. And again, you can do that in one game. Play 20 games of squad battles. Wow. All rivals with at least seven players from Aero Division in your starting squad. And win 10 matches either in squad battles or rivals. So let's have a look at the cards you get. So you get yourself this right back. Looks like a good right back. Don't know if it's better than the one we've got already. What's his secondary position? So it is right back. So the one we got from the storyline, you can definitely play in a CDM role. And then we have ourselves this guy here, the centre mid. Can play sentiment only. Looks like a pretty good card, to be honest. Nice balance. So, to talk about tactics and formation and much more. So, we are going to do this in squad battles, but this is for people in rivals. So, you can always do this game mode over and over again if you want to. You don't have to worry, and it has to be on semi-pro. So, you could just play team of the week on semi-pro over and over and over again, and it won't lose your games towards the squad battles or your points in the long run. So, we have got our the busy squad already kind of pre-made. As you can see here, we're just missing one or two players. So we need to have at least another two or three players from there. So we go to Aero Divisi here, and we'll see what we get. So we've got ourselves a Timber, a Bergewine loan, and we have ourselves this guy and a Till. So that being said, we're going to swap these over. So how many have we got here? One, two, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got more. We've got nine. That's perfect. Then, a beautiful thing you can do with this, especially in squad battles or in rivals, you can bring any players off the bench you choose. And the crazy thing about it is, is that there is a requirement of having, sorry, there is actually five substitutes you can make. So you can actually make five substitutes straight away. So as you can see here, we've got our main team, Ben Yedder on no chemistry, not a problem. First thing we could do, if you don't like your defenders, bring on a defender, bring on a better midfielder for our silver, and bring on a better winger for our guy here. And we still have two more substitutes. So if your goalkeeper's not very good, you can definitely sub him over. Let's go talk about tactics and much more. So in the custom tactics one, you need to press LT or L2 to select which one you want to do here. So we're going to put it on defensive, for example. You're going to want to have balance, width 70, depth 32, build up play, balance, direct passing on chance creation, 70 depth, seven players in the box, two on corners, two on three kicks. Then in terms of instructions, we want to have default, get them behind, default, stay forward, default, 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 default. Same for this guy, same for this guy here, but it's get forward. And how this works is you want to have your most passing striker, if that's the thing, as your right striker. Your left striker is always going to be your main finisher sitting forward. Your most attacking midfielder as Cam and your second most attacking midfielder as the right centre mid. Then your left centre mid is going to be the second most defensive, stay back while attacking. And your CDM is going to be the same. But you need to be default, stay back while attacking, default. Cover center, not cover wing, and then default again. And this one's just stay back while attacking. Then your left back and your right back are going to be stay back while attacking and overlap. And the same for this guy. The reason being, and I've done a full breakdown on my channel how this formation works if you need to have a look or want to know any more about it. But just a quick brief one. So this works as a triangle as an attack. These three players rotate round each other while your Gakpo or your left striker sits on the last man. So you can play around little one-two passes. And then play it to Gakpo and you've got yourself at least three attackers straight away. When you lose the ball, your CDM and your left centre mid will drop back in defence and be ready to attack and help defend there. And your cam will go left mid and your right mid or right centre mid will go right mid, sorry. Let's say you're defending a corner, your goalkeeper comes out, collects the ball. Then your right back and your left back will start running up the pitch as well as your right centre mid, your cam and your two strikers. Giving you almost a five or a six attack. But as soon as you pass the ball, let's say, to a left back and you pass it to a midfielder, he will turn around and run back and the same for your right back. So you are never caught out of position. You're always in a good balanced state. If you find yourself being countered on corners or set pieces on your tactic here, you just want to knock this back down to one and the same for this as well. If you find there's not enough people in the box or vice versa, Put it up one more as well. It depends on the personal preference. I kind of like two. Not a massive fan of too many players getting forward, too many players sitting back. Then, once you've got all those players, you can start looking at doing the online one if you need to, which is going to be Aero Divisi 
managerial master please but as always if you have any questions please comment down below if you are new to the channel consider hitting that like button and subscribing and i'll catch you in the next one see you.